Maisie, you said in the build-up to this fight that fighting at the O2 was a dream of yours. So I've done that now, box ticks, how do you feel? I, I feel good. I feel good. I might not look good with a dodgy black eye, but I feel good. <laughs> I feel like I boxed well. I boxed. That was the main thing this camp was a focus on making sure I didn't get brought into a brawl, especially with someone like Gemma. She's tough. She's been there. She's experienced. But yeah, I loved it. All my family there. I think I did all right, yeah. You just touched on there. How important was it for <coughs> you then? We've seen you have a few tear-ups already. How important was it to show your boxing skills? Oh, really important. That's the thing. I'm actually I'm a boxer more than I'm a fighter. You know, I think I got a little bit eager on the big stages and wanted to go out there and stop everyone. Everyone always wants to stop people as a professional, you know. And I was able to showcase like the talent I do have. You know, I've been able to switch and counter punch and show how classy I really can be instead of running in there with my arms, eyes closed and swinging. <laughs> The footwork you said there was amazing, the head movement as well, the shot, the shot selection, the uppercut was something that you'd look to try and find a lot. Was that something you had identified coming into the fight or was it just something that you saw an opening during the fight? I love an uppercut. The reps and people, they love a little screw shot uppercut, you know, and um, it's kind of built into me to do shots like that. And yeah, I've kind of, it's kind of, it just worked. I chanced it and landed and I just kept chancing it and kept landing, so yeah. Kate Radomska and Gemma Rieg, two very tough opponents for, to only four fights in. What do you think that says about you and the way you're moving in your career? Oh, I'm onwards and upwards. You know, I'll fight, I'll fight anyone. I'll fight people for titles now if I wanted to. I'll fight for a world title if I wanted to. You know, I think I'm good enough, I think I'm strong enough, better enough, but it's whatever Tony and Kev says. How important is it then for, for Tony and Kev to try and keep your feet on the ground? You're obviously very early on in your career, but you're obviously game to go, go and take on anyone. They know best. They've been there, done it. They've had unbelievable talents in their gym, in their hands. And yeah, they, they know what they're doing. I might be their first girl, but I'm not their first boxer, you know, so they know what they're doing with me. Two Katie Taylor shows and now an Anthony Joshua card. Not many get these opportunities, especially so early on in their career. How, how grateful and also what confidence that does show from Eddie and Matram to put you on these cards? Oh, it feels, I love it. It fills me with confidence. You know, I love the big stages. I love being involved and looking up to people who are headlining the cards and being a part of it. Even though I might be on first, like with God knows how many people on there. And I'm still there. You know, and I'm feeling it, living it, and enjoying it. You, it never shows, but do you, do you ever feel nervous in these sort of cars? Because they, they can get to people. No, not really. I've got a mindset meant or anything, so I'm a little bit of a nutcase because I don't really get nervous. But I get nervous afterwards when I watch it back. You know, it's like autopilot until I get out and I'm having a bit of pizza. That's when I get nervous. <laughs> Tony and Kevin, like you said, they've been through it all with so many different world champions and stuff. How important is the messaging that they give you before the fight and during the fight in, in these moments? Oh, it's wicked. They keep it very simple. They're very good judge of characters. You know, I'll learn differently to George. We will learn differently to Joe, Connor and so forth in the gym. And they're very smart in making sure that that boxer knows how to take in the information they're given, you know. And yeah, it's working. It's working. A bit of time off for you now. What, what would you like to do next? Have you got your eyes on any cards? I know you're on, obviously on the first Katie Taylor, Chantel Cameron card. I don't That's know. It makes sense for me to be on the second, I think. It makes sense for me in Dublin again. It's like my hometown now. You know, I love Forge Irish that, I love Dublin, I love everything there. All the Irish girls want to fight me anyway, so it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for your time. I'll let you get back today. You can go watch George. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>